What we're going to be covering in this video is how to add an image into your site directory and afterwards how to add that image into your page. We're going to focus specifically today on adding a logo image. So we're going to work within the header. To begin, why don't we just remove out this dummy text we originally had. We're going to go ahead and press enter just so we have a little bit of space there. Tab to add some indentation. And we're going to create a container for the logo. So let's first just write a little note for ourselves. This is the logo container. And as we've done in previous uh, lessons, we're going to hold control and press backslash to comment that out. That way we have some notes just kind of show where things are. And we will put in a div. Again, div is a very common element you'll see in most websites that are used uh, to contain a variety of things. We're going to call uh, this with a class too, so we're going to do period again. To call a class, we're going to use the tab quick key and logo. We go ahead and press tab again, and now we have a div with the class logo, and we'll just press enter, enter to create some space in there that we'll use later. Last thing, just good housekeeping. Let's just put end of a logo container. That way, if you choose to reuse this in the future, you know where it begins and it ends. What we're going to do next is we're going to save an image file into our site directory. Because we, if we do not uh, place these elements locally within here, uh, sometimes you can get some linking issues. And then when you choose to put this on the internet later on, it won't display correctly. So I've just already pre-searched some dummy logos. You can use whichever one you like. I'm going to go ahead and grab this one. So although it's very large, uh, that is fine. So we're going to save this one, save image as. You're going to go to your site directory. And within your site directory, you're going to save it in your images folder. So go ahead and just call it whatever you like. I'm going to just do logo. After that, we're going to go back to Dreamweaver. And what we'll do with inside of here is double check that we have it. So we'll go ahead and right click and press refresh local files. And now you'll see in the image folder, we have logo.png. Now we're going to place that image into our page. So let's go back to where we originally placed that space inside the logo container. Just going to press tab so we have that proper indentation. And we're going to put in a image tag. So we're just going to type in IMG. That is the short code for the image tag. And we'll press tab. Now we're going to have two fields that populate the source. Similar to uh, href within link, it's saying where do you want this image to be. Essentially it's asking where it can find it. And then the alt is the alternative text. So for accessibility purposes, you can type some information in here to describe what that image is for those who may be visually impaired. For the source, going back to that, we are going to have to link this logo to here. So we know that it is in the image folder, so IMG. And you can see that auto populates. Go ahead and click that. And it's going to show you every single file that's in that image folder. So we'll go ahead and click logo. It's very large, but that's exactly what we want to happen. And then in the alternative text, you know, I'm going to put company logo. And if it was a real company, you might want to describe it in a little more detail. But again, it's just describing what that image is. Now, of course, this obvi obviously looks wrong because it's far too big. And that's where we're going to leverage some CSS. So let's go to the bottom of our CSS sheet. And we have a div with the class logo. And inside of that div is the image. So what we're going to use here is a little bit of CSS hierarchy. First things first, let's say we want the logo. So we're going to define the logo class right there. But that's too broad because we want to directly modify the image inside that logo. But we don't want to modify all image properties because if we were to just do, say, image, that would mean any other image inside of this web page would share 
that exact same attribute. So the way that we do this is by typing in logo to define we're in that div image. So no spaces, this just means basically cascading downward. I want the image that's inside of the div with the class logo. And we'll go ahead and add those brackets. And what we're going to do is define the height, because that's the easiest thing to be re relational off of, is the height of the header. So go ahead and type in height, and we'll type 70 pixels. That way the height of this object is the exact same size as the header. We'll go ahead and save that by pressing Control S, click off and on, and now you can see this logo is placed uh, in perfect size to the header. So the next video what we're going to cover is slight differences in file types because you can see this logo has a white background. We're going to look at the differences between PNG files with transparent backgrounds, JPEGs, and when and when not to use them.